Welcome back to the Kendall Isaacs Gymnasium. Welcome back to 10YS TV. Continuing coverage of the BAISS sudden death postseason. Getting set for our junior boys matchup, the top seeded St. John's College Giants against number four seed St. Augustine's College Big Red Machine. On the other half of the semifinal bracket, we saw the Queens College Comets advance with a 43-42 win over Prince Will yesterday. So the winner of this game looking to take them on, I'm Ronaldo Dorset, joined in the booth by Jonathan Burrows. This is one of the matchups that we've really been looking forward to. St. John's has been a juggernaut all season, but we know how strong Sack usually is in this division. What do you expect from your big red machine today? I expect a lot. I expect pressure on defense. You see an early score, early in the shot clock. No time wasted. Great pressure defense in the half court set. Making it very hard for St. John's, but somehow. Leonardo Roll on the score for the Giants. Starting five for St. John's. Roll again playing the break. So the Giants come out with Roll. Number five, Kimani Bo controls the point. Number four, Reynold Lewis. Number 23, D'Alfred Gibson. And the man in the middle, number 33, Javez Colby. Roll again. St. John's out to an electrifying start. Sock looks strong on that first possession, but Roll has scored six in a row quickly to take control for the Giants. chance to go to the line and complete the conventional three-point play. Complete the play. And Sock has to find an answer for this run, but continues. Gets in with the steal and the score. So right away, what jumps out at the screen, this Giants lineup is bigger, stronger, faster than the Sock lineup. With roll at the point of attack. And Gibson with another steal and a chance for a three-point play. The Giants are rolling right now, and I feel like we haven't really seen them get into their half-court offense. Seven from Roll, and now Gibson with a chance for a three-point play of his own. Their backcourt is bigger than the Sox frontcourt. Yes, the size difference is very apparent. Missed free throw for Gibson, but Colby unable to come away with it. Roll nearly had the steal. Long lead the goes up, gets the foul on the drive. Colby will be whistled for the foul, swinging wildly, trying to get the block shot. I can tell my replay booth was expecting a highlight on that one. They thought it was going to be the block. Two from the line for Longley. Brings an end to a 9-0 Giants run. Inside. They tried to go inside to Lewis. He came up just short. St. John's. Big red machine have to find a way to handle the trap and Lonely goes again. 
Ooh, hard foul. Longly challenging Colby, and that will be number two on Colby. Are we sure that? Are we sure that number 33 is indeed in high school? Absolutely sure. I've I coached him in baseball since he was a kid, since he was about eight years old. Oh wow. I mean, clearly, based on his size, he made the right choice. He should absolutely <laughs> be playing basketball. Absolutely. <laughs> so Longley did an excellent job attacking Colby. Picking up two fouls. That's what you do when you're outside. You attack those defenders. If he's not disciplined enough to contest without fouling, then he picks up those early fouls, has to take a seat. Ooh, good defense. Rips the ball away. St. Augustine Scotland's trying, advancing the ball. Francis In transition three. three. Just rims out. Bo, surrounded by a trio of defenders, gets it over to Gibson. What a finish in transition. Contact, no problem. Alfred Gibson double clutching in the lane. Finishing with the right. Unable to convert. Archer can't grab the rebound. St. John showing the defense early. Sock trying advancing the ball. Hits Longley for the three. No good, but Archer skies for the board and he draws a foul. So not only you pick up two fouls on your starting center, Colby, but Addison Bethel, number 21, who came in to replace him, also picks up his first. No good on the first free throw from Archer. Comes up short on both. Gibson ahead to roll. Just rims out. Rips the ball. St. Augustine's college possession. Giants so quick at the point of attack for every 50-50 ball. Ahead to Morley. Skip pass over to Longley. And of course, Roll gets in the way of that one. Ball just in the air for a bit too long. You cannot float passes against this team. They are going to get a Very deflection. active in the lanes. Long arms, long bodies. Every pass has to be precise. It's crazy. <laughs> Gets it over to Cambridge. Francis pressured. Finds an open mid range, just short. Baseline J, no good for Francis. Bethel with the board. Bad pass, but Roll still comes away with it. Another roll at the line for two. <laughs> if 
converts both free throws. Roll has nine of the Giants, 13. St. Augustine Soil is trying to advance the ball, and but now comes away with another steal ahead to Bo. Gets his first two. And if Bo didn't slip, he might have had another steal. Wide open shot. Just short. Lewis in the corner to bow for three. Offensive rebound. Third shot opportunity for the Giants, and Bethel is fouled. Junior or senior, this may be the most complete team we've seen in this playoff yes. so far. Everyone on the same page on both offense and defense. Everyone hitting their free throws at the line. Bethel banks both in. So day one we had a lot of close finishes. And another turnover just active in all lanes. Thinks about a layup, but decides last minute not. You get that deep in the paint, you've got to put that one up. Giants right now operating on all cylinders. St. Augustine College knows call for the travel as St. John's continue this defensive game. Jumper is long, rebound. Ball stolen, stolen in the back court. The court. Gibson to roll. On another on one. Three point play opportunity again. An auto roll not only living in the paint this entire game so far, but also living on the line. Has been taking advantage of the free throws thus far. Twenty-four to six, under a minute left, and another unforced error by the Big Red Machine, and they are starting to unravel. So we had a lot of close games on day one, day two. Ooh, big block there by Archer. Noah's trying to find someone. Cambridge. Three. Needed Makes that. It. Big three. St. Augustine's is just looking for something to go in. But the number one seeds are looking like number one seeds here on day two. Lewis looking for a foul, and he will get it. Cambridge from NBA range on that one. Three is good, and that was a field goal the Big Red Machine desperately needed. St. John's on the other hand was completely unfazed. <laughs> Went right back up the floor. Lewis Definitely forced been a trip to the line. Taking advantage of their free throws. And have been very efficient from the line. As he and exposed. overcame the announcer's jinx. <laughs> You know how good you have to be to overcome the announcer's jinx? <laughs> Skip pass. Cambridge thought he was fouled, and that is how our first quarter comes to an end. 26 to nine, a dominant performance by the St. John's College Giants.
Sack scored on the first basket. After that, it was all Leonardo Roll getting out on the break, powering this Giants to a dominant first quarter lead. Giants going to their bench here in the second. Turnover. So in for the Giants now, number one, Christoph Francis, number 12, Kevin Hepburn, and number seven, Akai Miller. Big Red Machine also going to their bench, number 14, Carmelo Woodside into the game. Inbounds to Knowles. Woodside in the high post. Turnaround jumper, no good. Boarded by Lewis. Ooh. And he will be whistled for the an offensive, offensive foul. foul. So let's see how long the Giants got Lewis, the only starter out there with four reserves. Again. Cannot flow passes on this Giants defense. Hepburn on the drive. Takes it all the way. Miller on the drive. Akai Miller with the score. Go inside the Woodside. And another turnover by the St. Augustine's College. Leads to a wide open fast break layup. Find Miller again ahead of the pack. And even the coming off the bench for this Giants team, it's the same energy. May not be the same speed. May not be the same size. Crazy. But it's the same system. And it's producing the same results. Francis, three from the corner, off the mark, boarded by... And Longley comes away from the scrum with it. Ooh! Tries to draw a foul, doesn't get it. Giants going the other way. Kai Miller trying to make something happen, looking for a foul call, but doesn't get it. If he made that shot, <laughs> A terrible bounce Great pass. Great anticipation by Hepburn. 
but blows the layup. And just hounds the ball. Possession arrow goes over to the big red machine. And Augustine's club is getting tripped up in the back court. Has to advance the ball. Got to get it over. Yeah, after three or four deflections, we saw that one coming. St. Augustine's College having a hard time breaking the press of this St. John's College. Longley, probably the best ball handler on this team, has to get down there and become a part of that in the backcourt. For the first time tonight, the Giants slowing down the pace. A rare half-court set for the St. John's College. To be fair, they haven't had to. Haven't had to at all. Hepburn controlling. Great defense being played by St. Augustine's College. Francis with a nice fake inside, doesn't get it to go. Lewis's follow is no good. Ooh, almost came up with it. And, and Rose just took his eyes off of it for a split second, looking to make that move up the floor. And that leads to a turnover. And Sock comes up with their own steal, trying to look for Longley. Morley thought about three in the corner, and Francis can't handle. Skip pass over Longley. Longley. Goes up, looks for the foul, but doesn't get it. Offensive rebound. And a foul call. So Archer's athleticism in the post has made somewhat of a difference for Saka on the defensive end, and now they're on the offensive boards. Earning a second chance opportunity and the chance at the free throw line. This is both at the line. Trying to mount a comeback, those free throws you need to be able to score while the clock is stopped. Thought about a shot, but Lewis. thought about it too much. Lewis called for a travel. How's to advance the ball, and they do. Lonely making the extra passes, and finally, a score. That is probably the best offensive possession for the Big Red Machine since their opening possession, actually. Francis, three, misses everything. The St. Augustine's college team looks hesitant to run the break. I can hear the disappointment in your voice. It's very apparent. <laughs> Fighting for the offensive rebound. sign for the Big Red Machine faithful as the Giants starters check back into the game. Gold gets it over to Longley. 
Marley's Ooh. three is too strong. Francis, Francis. on the drive. Boarded by Colby. Star of the first half, try to feed it inside to Colby. In the high post, Archer knocks it away. Ooh, looking for a call, but no call, but no problem. Colby doing a much better job defending without fouling, but can't be as aggressive as he wanted to. Led to an easy shot for the Big Red Machine. High post goes to Colby. Roll for three. And Augustine Scott is advancing the ball on the break, spin move, and a foul called on the shot. They called Bo for the foul down low. Off the spin move. Caleb Roll will attempt two at the line. Misses his first. One for two at the line. Giants looking as if they'll try to hold for the last shot of the half. And Francis, Francis played the passing lanes perfectly. All the way with the reverse layup. And finishes on the opposite side. And now another steal by the Big Red Machine. And a fog call. A lot of emotion. Francis on the break, using the rim to protect himself from High the block. High IQ. Realizing that the defender was chasing after him and puts it on the other side of the rim. And then the Giants just fell asleep. A lot of attention and Roll was able to get the steal off the inbound. Big Red Machines showing signs of life. Lane in violation, Roll will get another shot at it. Well, now you've got to question whether the Giants let their starters sit too long. Gibson gets it over to Roll, pull up jumper. Too much. Offensive rebound, but stolen and right back to St. John's with a floater. Those floater beats the buzzer. That is how our first half comes to an end. St. John's Giants look like the top team in this division, look like the number one overall seed. And if St. Augustine's is going to come back, they will need a lot more on the defensive end. You want to say something disappointingly before we go to break? <sighs> That deep side was enough. <laughs> we'll be back for the second half.
Third quarter action here underway. St. Augustine's College looking to somehow chip away at this lead. And try to shift the tide of the way that first half was going. Other than a late big red machine flurry, the Giants were dominant. Bo goes around the Colby screen and resets. Gibson around a Colby screen, pull up three, off the mark. Offensive mm -hmm. rebound and too much sauce on the pass. Lewis is there for the board, but threw it away. And now the big red machine throw it away. Leonardo Rose, again, living in the paint. Third quarter begins the same way the first quarter began. Leonardo Rose having his way on straight line drives to the hoop. Gibson whistle for the foul. Physical basketball tonight as more of the same. Leonardo Rose. And Francis just dribbles it off his foot. Too many unforced errors for a team looking to get back into the ball game. Stolen um, by Lewis. Three turnovers in a row for St. Augustine's College. Leading the three, St. John's College spots it on another one. On a crazy layup. Gibson on just one. ran through Francis. Trying to, set, trying to set his feet to take a charge. Was unable to, the bigger, stronger Gibson. Somehow still able to get that shot up and got it to go. Wow. When you're rolling like St. John's is right now, the basket is wide open. Three box-to-box -box scores for St. John's College following three terrible turnovers by St. Augustine's College. St. John's College definitely taking advantage of the sloppy play by St. Augustine's College. Offensive rebound from St. John's College. And possession goes to St. Augustine's College. Cambridge gets it over to Archer. Now Longley. into the hands of Longley. Francis skip pass over to Longley. Great ball movement from the Big Red Machine, but they still came up empty on the possession. Gibson controlling the ball. Puts his head down, but loses it. St. Augustine's College trying to run the break. St. John's does a good job of getting back. Finds Longley for the open three. 
just rims out. Giants in control by 23. Just about midway through the third. Too easy for Lewis. Cambridge made his first attempt. Too strong on the second. Gets it ahead to Colby, blocked by Blocked. Archer. Patient offense by St. John's College. Goes in for the drive, finds. Looking inside for Colby, shot fake. He's fouled and he will go to the line. good on the first. First shot attempt, first free throw attempt. Had to exit the game early in the first after picking up two fouls. Roll tries to take it. Extra pass. Over the wood side and he is fouled. Chance to make two at the line. College struggles continue. Gibson pull up three, front iron. But there for the board and put back is Lewis. Trying to make something happen. Bow across the timeline, over the roll, deep three. No problem. Giants by 31. And St. John's. Ahead to roll. Ooh. And if it's one thing a Bahamian crowd is good for, it's a good it over chant. <laughs> no matter whether it's over or not, we always good for it. <laughs> Gotta get a good it over chant going. <laughs> I mean, up by 31 with 118 left in the third. They're lying. Oh, gosh. Just pressing words. Well, this is kind of the 10 YS bowl. You as a 
Sock alumni, me as a St. John's alumni. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I mean, clearly not just a victory for St. John's, but one for me. <laughs> so congrats to me. Oh, gosh. Just rub it in, why don't you? Giants by 30, back to the reserves. On the floor, roll stays out there. So Miller's hard. three is off. Hepburn puts it up. Kevin Hepburn from the wing. Same spot, well not, not the same spot Roll just made one from, because Roll was about 10 feet further back. <laughs> yes. There go that chat again. Truth tellers. <laughs> 50 seconds left in the third. This roll is at the free throw line. Pitch one. John's College an inbound. Miller uh, on the drive. No defense. Oh, through two defenders. No defense on the break by St. Augustine's College. How did Akai Miller get between Just those sneak sack defenders through. and finish that layup? It's been the starters. It's been the bench. This St. John's team, I have yet to see a more complete team. And I say this as a completely biased <laughs> commentator in this game. Oh, and it just continues. Hepburn with the steal on the break. All right, I'll just go ahead and say it. Best team ever. And another unforced error, which leads to an easy St. John's basket. It's, it's the best team I've ever seen. And a terrible pass. A St. John's is showing no mercy at the end of the third quarter. to 19 headed into the fourth. I mean, what can I say? Just a dominant. Not much. <laughs> there's, there's really not much. Dominant basketball being displayed by St. John's College. This Giants team has just been too much. The depth that they have from top to bottom, unrivaled. Augustine's College not aware. Oh, 
six season, 19 headed into the fourth quarter. Francis to Bethel inside, back outside to Hepburn. That one just rims out, uh, but Bethel on the follow. Selma muscles storms. in a layup. Around the Bethel screen, Miller for three. We thought the starting backcourt was good. This backcourt coming off the bench with Miller and Hepburn are not shy about firing away from long range. Not at all. That's Cordy Johnson getting into the scorebook. The bench just picking, just picking up where the starters left wow, off. I have no idea what to say just now. I'm just in lo a loss for words. Archer thought he was getting into Cambridge. Nobody there. A rare turnover for the St. John's College. See Miller with the straightaway three. And then Johnson just uncontested at the rim. Deflected, Sack keeps possession. Oh, that's a miscommunication. Unforced error. Giants empty their bench. And go even deeper into their bench. And this will be the first time tonight that they have been the undersized team. For the first time tonight, we see number eight, Caden DeVoe, number 13, Marvin Sands. And number three, Brando Thompson. Thompson. That's also number 24, Tatum Sands. So both teams with platoon swaps. Emptying their benches at this point. 424 left to play. DeVoe controlling. Sands on the drive, Ooh. tied up. Extra steps there, called for the travel. That's great defense by St. John. Another Probably. steal. Sands comes away with it. And a fast break opportunity. Comes up with the steal. And one. Three point play opportunity for Roll. Converts on the three-point play. Oh, 
Francis gets it ahead. Ooh. Has that one blocked? Thompson pulls up for three. And Roll got a piece of that one. Three is off the mark from Roll. Rebound goes to Sands, but he steps on the sideline. Spin move. Wow, the shot. Cap Burns steals it away. Little jump hook in the lane is good. Shift steal. Stolen by Sands with the finish. Sands again on the break. And he is fouled. Watch the bench celebrate once Sands make this layup. There's nothing more the upperclassmen like than watching the lower classmen get an opportunity to play in a blowout like this. And seeing them go out there and succeed. Because you watch the guys do it in practice, but they probably will not get the same playing time. But mm -mm. with the lead, fluctuating somewhere around the 40-point mark. They're getting their opportunity here in front of a packed gym at the Kendall Isis Gymnasium. Saz misses both. And Hepburn emerges from the scrum with the ball for the Big Red Machine. Oh! goes behind oh. the buck. Oh! Oh, and DeVoe just missed the chance. Wide open. The bench was ready to erupt <laughs> if he made that one. <laughs> bench was ready for that one. Francis on the drive. Floater in the lane. And the score. Puts it in. Ooh. Stolen by Sands. Ooh. Edward goes behind the back. A behind the box layup in transition. Down too much to even repeat, but somehow still finding a way to make it interesting. Okay, how was he not playing earlier? <laughs> Did I miss something? This is 
Pulled out the line. Francis comes down with the board. Ahead to the vote and gets it to go. Caden DeVoe with the score for the Giants, and now pounding defense. Thompson nearly came up with the steal. Petterman off the mark on the three, rebounded by DeVoe. Giants finishing this one off in style. Three steals, three scores, and Four less than a minute. Almost another fourth steal. Hepburn. Signs with the floater off the mark, boarded by Hepburn. Just trying to add insult to injury with two seconds on the clock. I mean, play until the whistles. Can you hear the, the buzzer sound? <laughs> <laughs> so the number one seed, St. John's Giants, with a 79 to 30 win over the St. Augustus College Big Red Machine. The Giants will advance to face the QC Comets in Monday's Best of Three Championship Series. Oh, before we go, you want to sign us off again with disappointment? That'll do it. Cut the mic.